So welcome to Yoga for Voice, everybody. Good morning, morning. And uh, we will get started. So we'll need our uh, yoga mat, a bolster or two, a pillow or two, uh, yoga balls if you have them, uh, or myofascial balls, they're also called, uh, and a blanket as per usual. So let's start by lying on our tummies. You can have hands back, behind, or in front, whichever you like. Notice your breathing. Notice where you're breathing. Notice how much you're breathing. Just naturally without changing anything. Let the body breathe you. And come up and grab your hopefully softer on the softer side pillow or well pillows will usually be on the softer side but softer bolster or smaller bolster or roll, rolled up yoga mat or rolled up blanket and place it under the tummy. So between the top of the pelvic crest and the bottom of the rib cage. Passive breathing again.
breathing in and out through the nose. And if it feels like the whatever you've got underneath is upsetting the bone at the top of the middle of the rib cage, lower it a bit. Uh, the pillow, not the rib cage. <clears throat> so the pillow, it's safer to have the pillow overlapping the pelvic crests for some people more than uh, getting up into that bone at the top of the middle of the rib cage. Just being aware. In and out through the nose, passive breathing, let the body breathe you. And again, if the if it's a bolster you're using and it's too big, this can bother the lower back. So we want to be careful with that as well. All right, let's pull the pillow out. A really shallow soft pillow is best at first. And then lie flat again and notice our breathing once more. And if anything's changed. Step one to improving the voice and the immune system, and the entire body. Get your inner masseuse working for you. Inner masseuse being your thoracic diaphragm with some help from the pelvic diaphragm and the vocal diaphragm. So we're working on the vocal core. We talk a lot about the core. It's supposed to be here. I don't agree. The core is from here to here, pelvic floor to larynx. So we have this, and then this whole area is core for the voice and for the immune system and the vestibular system and the circulatory system and the respiratory system. This is core, pelvic floor to larynx. Hopefully you noticed the breathing changed. Now, 
we can start to work with that. Cat twist, hey. Hey. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, hey. Inhale up. Happy puppy, he. He. Inhale up. Inhale up, downward dog, ho. Feel the ho launch you into down dog. Ho, oh, wiggle. Little barrel rolls with the rib cage. And upper dog ha. Ha. Barrel rolls with the rib cage. Shoulders wiggling. Back to all fours. Cat twist, hey. I'll let you do it on your own. Let her rip. Feel the twist encouraging the voice. Inhale. Happy puppy. Hey. Inhale up. Happy puppy. Down dog. Oh. Dog ha. ha. And come up. Lie on your back, hug your knees to your chest. Breathe and notice. Good. So we always start with the pillow because it's safest and it warns the body of things to come. So we've worked with the pillow and or a small bolster or a rolled up yoga mat first, then a larger bolster. But the idea actually is then we start with the balls. So we noticed again how we were breathing, holding our knees to our chests. Ground zero for all stress in our bodies is right here, solar plexus. So put your hand on your solar plexus just above your belly button. Now tighten your tummy like someone's gonna punch you in the stomach. Feel that reaction? So when we're under stress or duress or trauma, this is the first place that clenches. Put your hand here, put your other hand on your chest, tighten your tummy, notice what happens to your pecs. Feel that connection, that fascial connection there. Now put your hand on your throat, and this is for voice and singers. 
tighten your tummy. What happens to your throat? Now we can control that, but if we're unaware, you can feel that grip. So this is why I say over and over again in my book, there's no such thing as a voice problem. There isn't. Problems will present here, but they have nothing to do with being here. It's coming from poor breathing, uh, muscle tension, lack of diaphragm, lack of inner masseuse movement, all right? So therefore, since we're not blaming the little poor little curtains in the voice anymore for any vocal problems, or most importantly, not working on the voice to try to fix those problems, because that would be symptom stopping, we go down here where the actual vocal problem is. Four inch ball, if you don't have one, uh, small bolster, uh, fold your uh, pillow in half, but nothing quite gets in here like a ball because we want to get in between the ribs. Okay? Or if you have a little plush toy that won't squeak too loudly, you can try that as well. Um, other household items. <laughs> yeah, I can't think of any more. This will work. So we take the ball, we put it right in that solar plexus about an inch or two inches below the top of the rib cage or the bottom top of the rib cage. So right about here, about an inch above the belly buttons. And we lie flat. And we breathe into the ball. So inhaling and exhaling through the nose, you may feel nerve feedback radiating out to your chest. You might feel it in your lower back. This is all fine. It will pass. But this will show us how this is ground zero for pain in our bodies and for chronic pain as well for most people. To get close, you could grab a little towel. That's another idea. Bunch it up. That'll get close. It just won't be as flexible as a ball. The reason the balls are awesome is because they flex back and help you exhale, right? Because this is what we're wanting to encourage from the diaphragm. And if this area is tight, we can't diaphragmatically breathe. And that's the key. or at least we can't diaphragmatically breathe properly. Let it in. And at some point while doing this, you may find yourself yawning. That's awesome. That is the diaphragm 
I won't go into all the details, but that's the diaphragm healing and waking up, basically. All right, take the four inch C ball out and grab the six inch sun ball. And this one we put under the belly button and roll around. Give that six pack that tends to overwork, thereby cutting off our core strength, giving it a nice massage all the way over to the edge. We're grabbing the phrenic and vagus nerves here, waking them up, energizing them. Sorry about uh, breakfast for some of you and dinner for others. All right, and come off, lie on your back, breathe and notice. Red five inch and a pillow for your head. Pillow for the back of your head. Red five inch goes right between the shoulder blades. You know the spot. The one that's so hard to get to even for yogis because the spinal processes are so close together. It's so hard to get movement up there. Imagine breathing into the ball, so no force. Having a pillow under the head is safest so we don't uh, arch the neck too much. However, if you have zero neck problems and it feels good, you can take the pillow out and lie like so because that will add a little extra load onto the ball and work a little bit more effectively. But any sort of neck stuff, keep that pillow handy or a rolled up a uh, yoga blanket underneath the neck. So it's up to you. I mean, for me, this feels great, but it won't for everybody. Start to roll the shoulders back and forth. So again, a little ball massage. Clasp the arms in front, give yourselves a hug, and roll back and forth. Add a hum. Mm -hmm. A mouth closed hum. Mm -hmm. Is the hum stuck in the back of the throat or is it buzzing in the front lips?
and roll off. Lie flat on the floor. Breathe and notice, is there any more breath movement in your upper back? Hug the knees to the chest. And roll over. And let's do another round of cat twist, happy puppy, downward dog, upward dog. And again, notice if it's changed. After the ball work, cat twist, hey. Hey. Inhale up. Hey. Inhale up. Happy pu uh, happy puppy he. Hey. Wiggle more. Hey. Fluidity, mobility, downward dog. Oh. Lift the left leg up, turn the right hand out, open. Oh. Down, switch hands, switch legs. Oh. Upward dog, ha. Ah. Back onto the back, hug knees into the chest. Keep the knees there, arms out to the sides. Inhale, exhale the knees down. Ah. Intention, knees are down, shoulder blades are down. This won't always happen for all of us. We don't want to push them down, but we want to intend and know that it's possible to have both shoulder blades flat on the floor and both knees stacked, touching the floor while keeping the knees close to the chest. Breathe into the tight spots. Now hum into the tight spots. Direct your hum. OK. 
Can you feel your hum vibrating somewhere in your torso? Your ribs, your tummy, shoulders, neck, jaw. It is vibrating. Can you feel it? Lengthen the neck. Lift the left knee up. Sorry, lift the top knee up. Bottom, hug, squeeze, hug. Arms out. Knees close and over to the other side. Breathe into those spots. Lower body awareness is huge for singers. We spend too much time up in the throat where the problems aren't. Lower body work. Most beginning singers are not noticing they're not breathing diaphragmatically properly. And they're not. Most people are using their diaphragm at about 10% of capacity. This messes up everything to do with health and the voice. Hum into the spots. If your hum is stuck in the back of your throat, do this. Make a witch. A really obnoxious sound with your nose plug. It's a very yogic sound. Now go back to humming. Hopefully a little bit more mask. Have you found resonance, reverberation, or vibration somewhere else in the body yet? Bring the top leg up. Bring the other leg up. Hug. And over. All fours, one more downward dog. Feel the difference. Oh. Lift the left leg, turn the right hand. Oh. in, leg down, other hand out, right leg up. Oh. 
Left leg between the hands, left foot between the hands, hey. Hey. What does using the voice do to the space between the poses? What does the voice do for the space, for the moment to moment awareness between the poses that for many of us are usually unconscious? Couple of haze and front leg forward, back leg back. Hey. So front knee forward, back heel back. Hey. Open to the sun side. Ah. Come down, open to the moon side with, of course, who? Who? Come down. Ho down dog. Ho. Up dog ha. Ha. Down dog who? Ho. Ho. Other leg forward. Hey, hey. So again, is the voice imbuing the space between the poses with something? And what is that? Front knee forward, back heel back with a hey. Hey. Waking up the pelvic floor here. Hey. The second most important diaphragm for singers. The third most important diaphragm, which is kind of do two diaphragms, is the soft palate and the larynx itself, which is kind of a, a double diaphragm, if you will. All right. Open to the sun side. Ha. Ha. Inhale down, moon side. Keep those, keep that front foot flat on the floor. And down, we're dog ho. Ho. And jump forward, ha. Ha. Or walk forward, that's fine too. And then hey, vertebra, vertebra coming up. Hey. So we're using the voice to bring the unconscious into the conscious. My go-to, my other go-to uh, exercise for all young singers who usually are living from here up, actually from here up. If they've got anxiety or asthma, they're living from here up. Some of them from here up. So I do this before they sing, spread the feet, sumo posture, ho, oh. ho, oh. now, are how far down your body is your voice going? Watch me, ho, oh. here at the most, ho, oh. They're not connected to their bodies. Their voice isn't connected to their body. Their breath isn't connected to their bodies. Or like this. Ho! It's connected. Try it.
hips, voice, huh, strength. Hello, my name is. Hello, my name is David. Hello, my name is Brenda. <laughs> Hello, my name is Ruti. Ha. Another 20 seconds of playing with that. Is your voice connected to your hips? <clears throat> All right. Let's turn to the side and noticing if this pose is a little different after the ball work and everything we've done. Clasp the hands, squeeze the shoulder blades together, tight muscles up here and here, impede the voice. It's that simple. Squeeze those mid traps together. Lift the hands away from the tailbone. Ah. Squeeze shoulder blades together more. Lift more. Ah. Shoulder blades together. Ah. Hands up. Ah. Keep the neck soft. Squeeze and lift. Ah, 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 bend over on a hoe. Oh. Ah. 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 and give yourself a hug. Space. And switch. And bouncer. Let the shoulders bounce. Let the shoulders bounce more. Let the jaw bounce. Are the shoulders still bouncing as much as they can? Now let the head bounce. Shoulders, jaw, head, all three. Huh. Trickier than it sounds, isn't it? Keep bouncing, keep bouncing. Another 30 seconds. <coughs> And release. All right, coming back to the floor. <clears throat> and now we'll do what I call the mother of all twists, which I never teach unless we've done a whole bunch of ball work and twisting work already, which we've done. So the mother of all twists is fabulous for everybody, singers, also asthmatics. So if you notice, I have my bottom hip, my bottom knee aiming towards you. So do that 
then the other leg comes straight out. So you have a capital L. Right, so kneecap facing straight towards me, other leg out to the side in a capital L. Place a pillow just to the side and in front of your knee, of your bent knee. So it will be on towards me as well. This is a doozer, everyone. <laughs> if you have uh, shoulder issues, be careful with this one. And if you need more than a pillow, that's fine too. Some people will need that to start. And you'll see why in a moment if you haven't done this pose before. Twist across the bent knee, face away from the straight leg, belly button as far forward as you can get it. Figured out where we're going yet? Down, come over top of that hip, and then take the arm and thread the needle the other way and your shoulder will come to the pillow like so. <laughs> this is not a beginner pose. <laughs> Hope everyone's all right out there. So adjust those pillows and bolsters as you need to. <coughs> hum, breathe, sing, do whatever you need to. Hey, hmm. Keep the vibration of the voice going. <clears throat> Inhale, pay yourself up and out of the pose. Everybody still alive? Looks like it. Breathe in the two sides of the rib cage. Notice the difference in your two hemispheres. they'll be completely different. For most of us. Capital L. <clears throat> So anyone whose shoulders easily separate, you probably don't do this pose. Or you have a lot of pillows built up. The two sides will be different. So have an extra bolster handy just in case. Capital L and part of the key again is do as much of the twist here as you can. Get that belly button around Get the shoulders around, press through that back heel, coming forward over top the hip, and thread the needle.
Use voice to help you out and up. Whole new world. Shavasana.
wiggling your fingers, wiggling your toes. Rotating wrists, rotating ankles, stretching out the arms and the legs in whatever way you see fit. Rolling over to the right hand side, giving yourself a big hug. Inhale, exhale, use your voice to come up to sitting. Whatever, whatever vowel comes out, ah, feeling that launch as you come up to sitting. Namaste. Thank you, everyone.